Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Alex back with another toolbox tour. So about three years ago, I did a uh, YouTube video on my toolbox, 56 inch Milwaukee, high capacity. I kept saying I was gonna update it, but three years went by and I never did. Got a few comments, never really did much on it. So here's the uh, updated version three years later. A lot's happened, so. Let's get the ball rolling, you guys. So up here, I got a uh, bit holder for my bits. I actually don't use this as a bit holder. I use it for PDR tools. Started getting into PDR. A Mac Tools bottle opener. PDR tap down. Matco phone charger. Pull it out, holds your phone wirelessly. Matco flashlight. This thing is the tits. US General Green magnet tray. Matco little neck light. That's the same thing as an Easy Red. Let me just tell you. Whatever. Same thing. Uh, I got a little portable speaker in here with my air tag. This is actually just charging in here. The reason there's an air tag on it is because it goes in my pack out. But you'll learn more about about that here in a minute i got this like zebo mosquito repellent thing because where i'm working right now there's a whole bunch of mosquitoes so uh screw that my yeti uh well yeah my grinder and stuff my puffco i got magnetic bit sets or magnetic uh, sockets. Central pneumatic. Oh yeah, I upgraded my knife. Got a Milwaukee uh, multi one, multi tool. Oh, I can't open that one, either. whatever. It's a razor blade. Miscellaneous drawer. Yeah, green crack. <laughs> Milwaukee safety glasses, uh, nail clippers, Mac tools, little brush, new skin for when I cut my, my hands doing body work, a little uh, hood prop. I just got these from the uh, Milwaukee pack out. Really helps to keep all my stuff organized. This is my plier drawer. Believe it or not, I actually like never use this drawer. You'll understand why here in a moment. Uh, not much has changed from the last video that uh, I had taken. A whole bunch of Milwaukee tools, a Matco rivet gun, Weiss pliers. Yeah, not much has changed. I mean, I got a crimping tool for uh, audio equipment. Brake tool, another brake tool. These things are awesome, you guys. Vamp pliers. They have teeth here on the inside. It won't focus, but they are amazing for removing stripped screws. Mac Tools picks. A Mac Tools pry bar. Same little snap-on body clip remover. That is the saddest drawer of my life. Wow. <laughs> I got a snap-on flex head, 3 8 ratchet, a Napa breaker bar, a Milwaukee quarter-inch ratchet, and then like a little baby quarter-inch ratchet that's reversible. I actually really like this. I don't use it enough, but I love it. I actually had my snap-on stolen. I had a half-inch snap-on. So sad. Tragic. That's a different drawer. That's not the same one. So different picks. A uh, carbon fiber hammer for PDR. This is like a drunk drawer now. Uh, I have my paint gun in there. 
a heat, not a heat gun, but like a temperature gun. These are outside in my bay. They're not lost, they're there. I'm just using them right now. I'll show you guys here momentarily. So these are just extensions with a handle on it that you can put on a ratchet. I love them. I got those from Mac Tools. If you guys need part numbers for anything, just let me know. I'll gladly go back and put part numbers. Mac Tools screwdrivers. I got an extra set and I'm actually still waiting for my rep to bring me the other set of flatheads so that I have all the matching set. My wrench drawer. So I have non-ratcheting. I have my ratcheting in my Milwaukee pack out. I work a lot on my pack out now. I'm very mobile. Uh, these not ratcheting. And then I have these ratcheting. I want to get the flex head and stubbies. That's what I'm missing. Get into the goods. So I got a Matco bit set. And then another Matco master bit set for sockets. I got my uh, scan tool right in there, extractor tool, another pry bar in here from Mac Tools, empty drawer, I have my anti-vibe Mac Tools hammers, these things are amazing you guys, a thread checker. You can like screw it in or have something screwed into it to tell you what size the nut is or the bolt or whatever the screw that you need. Extremely useful. I love this. This is a nut setter tool or a nut cert. I got this from Harbor Freight. Love Harbor Freight, you guys, seriously. So useful. Uh, a Matco interior trim piece removal tool. Clip popper, you could call them. A few hammers, miscellaneous. I don't really use them much anymore. The Milwaukee angle, angle hex bit. Super good for getting into like tight little corners and wheel wells. Mac Tools body hammer. Miscellaneous uh, supplies that I might need. I'm using rivets all the time. WD-40 engine degreaser, blow off duster, some uh, putty spreaders for drills so that I don't lose the uh, straight edge on it, I guess. A D-nibber from Mac Tools. Just miscellaneous stuff. Some more spreaders. A desiccant for my uh, paint gun. A cleaner for my paint gun and some scuff stuff for when I'm scuffing panels. Heat shrink for when I'm doing electrical work. So I still don't do a lot of mechanic work. Oh, dude, this tool, this tool right here is awesome. The Mac Tools Digital Circuit Tester. I love it. Gas line disconnectors. I got a Matco Tools Impact Hammer or Air Hammer in a limited edition camo. Got a straight die grinder, angled die grinder. These tools are for uh, my frame machine for pulling, making pulls. This is for adjusting door height. Stick it in the door and you can adjust it. And this is for the frame so I can pull certain angles. You stick this right in there. You put that to the frame machine, you can just pull. 
this is for little details. You can just put paint right in here, take that red cap off and just fill in that little dot. Got my dual piston straight line sander. I have never in my life called it that. I just call it the long DA, let's just be real. You kind of sound like a tool when you call it the dual piston straight line sander. Oh man, I can't open it. I got my Maco tools. This is Mac. Yeah, this is Mac tools. Cutter for the air hammer. This, that tip, that tip, and then that tip. I don't even know the name of those. Like, what is that? Like a pickle, a pickle something? You guys know what it is. Come on. Y'all know what it is. Don't put me in a pickle. <laughs> All right, next. This is my uh, power drawer, I guess people call it. I don't really use M18 that much anymore. I don't work on diesel anymore, so this drawer kind of just sits here now. I use this for taking off tires, but I got a, uh, a stubby that I use all the time. I use a snot out of this. I actually am probably gonna remove this out of here and put it in my pack out. Got a surge, got a heat gun, got the extended reach. Regular drill, staple gun, Dremel, flashlight. So here's my half inch socket set. Milwaukee uh, like I said I don't really do too much diesel work anymore so it never really gets used anymore I got my Mac tools uh, hammer set for body work boom bang uh, that yellow tapes on there cuz Sometimes I do PDR with that hammer. I know I'm not supposed to, but if it works, it works, you know? So whatever. I don't want it to scratch up the paint, so that's what that tape is there for. Okay. Let me see if I can find the... Man, I'm probably not gonna be able to find it. I got some tips for... I can show you all the tips that are supposed to go in that uh, bit set holder right there. I don't know where. I could have put it, but it looks super trippy. Oh, it's in the pack out. There we go. Yeah, it's in the pack out. Got a fluke tester. Milwaukee uh, meter. Not meter. What is this thing called? Well, I guess I don't know the name of it. Cool. Anyways, I've actually only had to use this twice. Uh, I was working on a frame. The frame was so bent, I had to put it on the frame to see if it was level or not. Oh, it's called a level, son of a... It's called a level. Anyways, yeah, here's my level. Uh, I got this off of a uh, gear wrench. It's an air inflator for the tires. I actually really like it. Brake tool, got from Matco. Check this brake tool out. Got this heat gun. From Wagner, love it. This thing is awesome. Universal brake tool. So now I don't have to, like I can do like Fords with this. Mechanics, you, you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about. You can just put a socket back here and just you're golden. So, really useful. Really like that. So, for you guys that uh, watched my last video, you're like, where did all your tools go? I got a mini fridge and a microwave. I actually, and a Yeti. <laughs> I actually ended up... Uh, relocating and going to a different shop and now i actually opened up my own shop so this is my shop now so 
the world's a little twisted now, man. Uh, miscellaneous keys that aren't for customers go in here. Battery rack. These batteries are only the charge batteries that go there. This is my employee's toolbox. This is my toolbox that holds all my uh, shop's files, my printer, my Milwaukee fan, my miniature mini fridge, air fryer. So we go outside and we start checking out the shop a bit. Got my quad, my dirt bike, snap on box over here. I'm not really gonna go too deep into it. I got a gunny wheel. You can use it as a universal spare tire. I have a Mac Tools charger for charging cars with dead batteries. Milwaukee Packout crate with all my batteries. Inside, I got a few batteries. I got 5 point amp, another 5 point amp, 3 point amp, and then some Mac Tools chargers. Got my Scotch Bright. Empty drawer, miscellaneous clips and stuff, rivets, zip ties, bits, because everyone seems to use bits, nuts. These are my personal tools. The reason I say that is because that box that you guys just saw with all the Mac tools and stuff and Let's just be real. All the expensive tools, that's my stuff. So these are mine. Mac tools, miniature buffer, detail buffer is what I call it. Orbo sander from Mac tools. I got my actual buffer from Mac tools. I got batteries for each of those. Boom, 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 boom. And then I got more batteries down here too. I got a whole ton of batteries now and another another one of these the reason i got these is because i'm always using my back out you'll see what i'm talking about so i got two creepers over there uh one's from uh lyle jeepers creepers and the other one's from maco i got my pack out light right here with another battery inside 5.0 5 and then I got another pack out right there underneath. It's too much work to open it. Oh, man, there we go. Perfect. I got my rivet gun from Milwaukee. Got another drill fuel from Milwaukee. Another drill hex from Milwaukee. Angle grinder from Milwaukee. And then I got my hood prop. The reason all this stuff is in here is because now I'm doing a lot more mobile work and I'm going out a lot more, you know? So I want all my M12 to be portable. I don't use my M18 because it's so freaking heavy and all the batteries are so much. So it's just like M12 is really useful, you know? I mean, it's not like I don't have the M12. I'm sorry, M18 is just... M M M12 is just so much smaller and so much more useful for me. If I need it, I'll bust out the M18, but I don't need it. I love this. That's called an Innovatives Creation paint stand. It's like that. So, uh, yeah, that's right. I actually ended up getting another one. <laughs> This was the first one that you guys saw in that video. That's the new one. This is the, the very first toolbox that I ever got. And uh, this toolbox, I actually ended up retiring it and not giving it to my employees, but it's still my toolbox. It's just, I wanna say for two years, once I relocated and I started doing my whole thing, I let people use my tools and I lost a lot of tools. They stole a lot of my tools and it really made me sad, so now I don't let people use my tools anymore. Now they gotta, they still use my tools, they gotta use these tools. Cause some people just can't afford tools so that they can work. So this is the tools that I provide for the people that don't have tools. Uh, air gun, 
Another air gun. This Typhoon, you guys, this Typhoon is like that. I highly recommend y'all get one. If you have a big compressor that can withstand the power, get one of these. It's amazing. It's like a shotgun. Uh, coil house pneumatic. It's a blow gun. You connect it and then you can connect something else to it. And it's awesome. Uh, this is just like a little miscellaneous Milwaukee carry for bits. I just made it. Just threw it together. So this box is fairly empty. It doesn't have too much. Of course, hot. Safety glasses, because safety comes first. Awesome uh, sandpaper. Yo, what are these people working with? This box is empty. Oh my God. Uh, Matco hose clamps. So I still use this box. It's just, I don't put all of my expensive stuff inside because I don't want it to get stolen. You, know, you see, I still have all the stickers from my last one. You can see the years have been rough on it. I haven't been able to keep it clean anymore because it's out here in where I paint. So it's so whatever. Uh, I love these. People give me so much crap for using Husky, but it's lasted a very long time for me. So I really respect Husky. I really like them. I've never, ever had an issue with them. If I break them, I can go right back and get another one and they don't give me hassle or anything about it. So, and plus this one has a 144 tooth count. So it's really nice. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. The price of, actually, the price of this for the whole kit is the price of one ratchet from like Icon, from Harbor Freight. So if you get a 3 8 ratchet from Harbor Freight, you're probably gonna spend like $67, $68. I bought this for like $49, are you kidding me? How am I gonna pass up a deal like that? Are you serious? And it still has a lifetime warranty, come on. Even if it does break, who cares? Uh, this is my uh, miscellaneous wrench drawer. I'm actually going to be getting an organizer. So I, I didn't organize my toolbox or anything for you guys. I just, this is the nitty gritty. This is the way it really looks like. I don't have time to be organized my tools anymore. I really got to just work and <laughs> I, I got to work. <laughs> I got to work. I don't have that free time that I used to have now that I own this shop. Um, I still got some nice tools in here like mac tools mac tools mac tools macco mac you guys remember this one from the last toolbox tour i still got it holy crap one of the only tools that hasn't been stolen can you believe that the theft is absolutely insane it's it's sickening it is sickening and i got cameras and everything like let me see if i can zoom in yeah i got cameras on like every angle of my shop it doesn't matter, dude. People still have the audacity to steal. Gimbals. I don't use this as much as I used to anymore. Like I said, I stopped doing a lot of mechanic work. I focus a lot more on body work now. I focus a lot more on painting. I got Icon T-handles. These are pretty sick. I really like these. I'm probably going to end up getting some Snap-on or Matco versions for my box. Because I find myself coming to these pretty often. Boom, boom. And the reason I haven't been saying like metric and SAE, you guys, I don't even remember anymore. Let me just be real. I only use these, which I'm pretty sure this is called metric. I only use metric. I could be totally wrong. That might actually not be metric, but I only use these. So whatever. I don't even bother anymore. Who cares? I have these just in case. Because you never know when you're going to get a card that's one of these. SA. Who knows? <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to correct me. Uh, more picks so that they don't use my really expensive pick set. More picks. More picks. And yes, I took these out of my personal toolbox and put these in here. Since I got the Mac set. Uh nut drivers 
I really like these too. I find myself using these more and more every single day. SAE and metric, flatheads, screwdrivers. I actually just ended up getting this the other day. So far, I love it. I have nothing negative to say. They feel great, very light, strong, magnetic tip. Icon. An icon scraper. A Milwaukee measuring tape. A T handle bit insert with quarter inch. My plier drawer. This looks like junk. Holy crap. I need to, I need to get more pliers for my technicians. Then again though, I mean my technicians also have a pretty nice set of tools as well. Miscellaneous screwdrivers and pry bars. Which I got two sets of Milwaukee pry bars. Same bolt cutters that I had a few years ago. A Dewalt uh, laser for measuring. An eraser wheel. A DA pad. Double ended spot cutter. Bits for my uh, hacksaw. A rivet gun. Heavy duty because the other one doesn't actually get to a bigger size. So this one allows me to get to one size bigger. So in this box, I just have these. A lot of bumpers use these. I don't know what's in here. Oh, bolts, not bolts, but like uh, clips for cars. Whole bunch of clips. You can never have too many of these clips, you guys, especially in body work, let me tell you. I've needed clips like no other in my life. A heat gun, because I don't want people using my Wagner. They already broke one Wagner, so I had to go buy another one and that was like, 120 bucks that was pretty salty body tools so that they don't use my body tools because mine are 500 dollars for the frame machine when i'm pulling for when i'm welding a little cutter pneumatic snap on da And then a long DA. Yeah, we're not gonna call it the dual piston action caliber, whatever it was called. Forget that. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a mess. We got the dent repair stud welder. We have my Milwaukee light. Spring compressor set. My little uh, slide hammer that I had. A serpentine belt tool. A polisher that's corded for when my polisher breaks and then the other polisher breaks too I have this one the reason I say that is because my Milwaukee polisher has broken like three times already within a year and I'm like what the heck is happening uh, my circular saw another rivet gun and this is a gun for spraying not spraying it's a gun for like glues for like body glues and then a break a mighty vac break leader gun Okay, so I got my Milwaukee angle grinder here. I have my fuel Milwaukee Sawzall. Milwaukee little saw, like hacksaw. What is this thing called? It's called a hatchet. Uh, a belt sander for busting down little seams. A Makita corded grinder. The reason that's in here is because this was supposed to go in my pack out. So when I leave to go somewhere, I put this in my pack out. My Milwaukee buffer, and then a corded drill for when I'm really feeling salty at my employees. Like, yeah, you don't get wireless no more. And then a buffer for Milwaukee. I have nothing negative to say about my Milwaukee buffers, except for that one that's always broken. It works now.
you can still see the service tag on there. What the heck? I mean, it was a great tool, though. I've, I've dodged the hell out of it. It was a great tool. I do mean that. So underneath, I have my... Uh, you guys are probably like, yo, where are the sockets? What the heck? So here, I have my uh, heavy-duty sockets for removing tires. This is what I'm talking about. My employees lost the 19. This is from Capri. Pretty salty, pretty salty. I can't even buy a singular replacement from Capri. I would have to buy the whole set. I'm gonna be buying the pack out version of that for myself. I got Matco Aerial Hoses. Another Matco Aerial Hose. An expansion tank. Up on top, I got my Quincy compressor. I got another brand new Matco air wheel hose. Another Yeti. There's my Quincy. It's a 60 gallon. I abuse it so much. You guys have no idea. Oh man, that thing is a charm. I love it. All right, to the main attraction. So all my jacks are Daytona. I have two Daytona jacks. I absolutely love them. I'm not gonna pay 650 bucks for a Maco or a Snap-on, I don't really care. I'll just keep buying some of those. I got two Matco chargers. This better be charged. No. Yeah, it's charged, awesome. I got a Flexzilla mini compressor for when I'm trying to do mobile work or something. I got a Milwaukee blower. I got a Milwaukee lawn weed eater, my torch. I got some jack sands. I actually got a lot more than that, you guys. I got like eight sets of jack sands. I just, they're scattered around right now. I got my ladder, love my ladder. These two frame machine things. Let's get back to the main attraction though, which is boom, bang, my pack out. This is what I use on a daily. This is me every single day. So let's just go through it. This is that master bit set that I had from Capri. You can see that it's been used now. It's been left out. It's all good. This is the one for my employees to use. I actually have the Matco one that's in my box, so whatever. I mean, it's, it's a pretty complete set though, I mean. There's only one broken piece and only one bit that's missing. And that was not my fault. I got my JBL speaker for when I really want to get loud. This is my socket set. Milwaukee. Love this. It's quarter inch and three eighths. Has both extensions in there. I absolutely love this set, you guys. Love, love, love it. Yo, this video is 33 minutes long. I was not expecting it to be this long. Got my Nipex from, where did I get these from? Huh, interesting. Well, my Nipex pliers. These are the ones I use the most. Nipex Cobras. Actually, it's not even called Nipex. It's called Cut Nip Pucks. Oh, well. I'm still going to call them Nipex. I don't care. DeWalt Striking Hammers. Or Striking striking Screwdriver and Flathead. I got a Milwaukee Color Match Light. This thing is freaking awesome, you guys. It shows like 15 different colors. Not 15, but five different colors in three different variations of light like high low medium i don't know why i went that way high medium low that's a weird way of saying it i got mac tools little minis knipex it just sounds weird saying it like that seriously This is for one of my favorite tools. 
It's a quick attachment, a multi-tool. This is the same reason why I actually don't have all those drills in my pack out anymore. Candy. I always got candy on me, you guys, always. You don't know me if you don't know I ate candy. Bit extension, not extensions, but like they're uh, adapters. These are from Icon, super useful. Some random bits that I use daily. More bits in case I need some on the road. Circuit tester. My stubby that I use to remove tires. It's three eighths. Absolutely love this thing. This thing is a beast. A ratchet, electric ratchet at that. This is that multi-tool I was talking about. I use this thing for everything. Everything. It's amazing. You can just take the tip off right there. There you go. You can attach any of these tips in there onto it. So it doesn't need to be a hex. It can be one of these. I don't know what this thing's called, whatever. I'm probably not gonna bother doing this one-handed. Oh, it worked. It actually worked. All right, another Mac Tools pry bar. This is that stuff I was talking about for that uh, PDR stuff. That's what goes to this hammer, or to that hammer, is these tips. You just can unscrew them, screw them right in. Each tip is like 25 bucks. It's kind of crazy. PDR tools are really expensive, you guys. I really want to get into it. It's just crazy expensive. I got more hammers. Dewalt. I still use the heck out of that. I got Maco tools. Clip popper set. bags to carry my uh, my stuff in it's a little easier for me this is my plier door now I don't actually have a drawer anymore it's, I mean I guess it's a drawer in a way it's a drawer but this is my plier door this is my life Knipex Knipex these are from Matco these things are awesome they're for uh, popping off clips and cutting zip ties and stuff. Long reach from Matco, Knipex. Needle nose, long from Knipex. Needle nose from Knipex. <laughs> Everything is Knipex. <laughs> it's amazing, it's an awesome brand, you guys. You guys should check it out. Best pliers I've ever used in my entire life. Mac tools, wire strippers. And then snips from Knipex. Uh, these right here, these are my new addition, and these are my absolute favorite. So I always thought that uh, Vampires were the only ones that did it, but Knipex came out with them. They have teeth on the inside. So this removes uh, stripped out bolts as well. So you can just roll that up. I'm not even gonna bother closing it right now. Ah, and that was a fail. But you can see the implementation of it right here. So in here I got my wrenches. There's more, I just don't feel like unrolling. These are the ratcheting ones that I was telling you guys about that aren't in my toolbox anymore. I'm actually gonna be replacing these with the Weira Joker. This open-ended ratchets yeah no 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 i know what i said you guys i know what i said the open-ended section has a lip right here that allows you to ratchet the open end it is amazing they're not even expensive they are awesome i think they're like 
160 bucks. I paid more for these. I was like, what? I'm so getting those. What? I'm going to put these back in mine, and I'm probably going to bring the Milwaukee non-ratcheting into this box. Yup. I got a magnet down here. Craftsman. I'm going to close that back later. Down there, that box is actually empty right now. There's nothing in it. And then those were the tools that I was telling you guys that were missing. Mag tools, 3 8 quarter inch again. I got uh, another DA snap-on, of course. An angle grinder for my employees to use. Harbor Freight. Adjustable body sanding tool for weird angles. Velcro, because most of the uh, sanding paper that I use is 3M. Hook it. And then I got the 3M hook it sanding blocks. Got this little deal. Cheese grater. El cheese grater. Got my welder over here and some chains for my frame machine. But yeah, you guys, little uh, setup for clean air. That's about it. That's the new updated toolbox for you guys. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment, subscribe. Yeah, ask questions about my tools. I'll, I'll gladly answer, you know. I'm here to help. Pry bars from when I was working on a car earlier. And other Mac tools pry bar. Oh, there's that matching one right there. Look at that. Speak of the devil. Actually, let's just go ahead and pick that up. <laughs> All right. Peace, you guys.